In this video, you will learn how to do remote access to a Siemens S7300 or S7400 PLC. Here the PLC is connected over Ethernet to the LAN side of the E1 hardware. On the WAN port, the E1 hardware is connected to the Talk2M account to the plant Ethernet. You, the programmer, can connect to the talk to him account as well using the eCatcher software. The VPN tunnel is then created, establishing a connection from your Step 7 Classic or Portal software to your S7300 or 400 PLC. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be using the Step 7 Classic version 5.5 software to establish a connection to the S7300 PLC. We have already logged in to the eCatcher software and have made a connection to the E1 unit. Clicking on the IP address up in here uh, in this table, we'll open up Internet Explorer. We'll type in our username and password. All right, we go to the configuration and to the system setup select communication and at the network connections we'll select Ethernet and Ethernet 1 for the LAN port we see it has a static IP address of 192.168.1.1 we can see from the WAN port Ethernet number 2 that it is making the connection to the Totem service and it's been assigned an IP address using DHCP so the purposes of this discussion looking at the LAN port we're going to focus on the 1.1. The critical thing to note here is that the IP network that's on the LAN side of your E1 cannot be on the same IP network that you have your programming terminal on. So if I type in IP config, I see that the IP address of my local adapter is a 40.129 which is unique from the 1.1 that we saw in the LAN side of the E1 hardware. So from Smag Manager we go down to the options pull down menu and set PG PC interface. This will bring up the uh, pop-up window and we want to set up the online connection path and in this case we're going to choose TCP IP and in my case it says the TAP Win32 adapter V9 which is what is used for the talk to him connection via eCatcher. Alright, we can open up OB1, happens to be a uh, little programming block here that has a little bit of logic. And I'm also going to open up the variable table. Alright. Also, here is the actual uh, S7 PLC, S7300 here. We have an I.O. card. All right, the E1 hardware down here at the bottom is making the connection out the WAN port to the talk to m service. And then out of the green Ethernet side, the LAN port of the E1, we are connecting up to the switch and then from the switch into the S7300 PLC. Okay, I'm going to zoom in onto the PLC here have a better view of the I.O. card All right, and I'm going to turn on the glasses to turn the monitoring on for the logic and we should be able to see the status of the logic the same way I'm going to do the same thing for the variable table is to turn on the glasses to turn on the monitoring now if I open up the little door here and turn on this first uh, toggle switch on this input simulator I can then see all of these output lights go true as is determined by the PLC logic here and I see the logic change state or the bits change state in the variable table. So this is how you do the remote access to a Siemens S7300 or S7400 PLC.